Hello Aquarians and cross watchers welcome to your video. Today's video is going to be a little bit uh, different in the fact that I'm going to do this video in honor of Kathleen Clements. Um, but before I get into all that I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank you guys for being here. And I want to thank you guys for being a part of this journey with me. A part of this channel. A part of this team. Thank you for spending your time and your energy with me. I truly value you. The divine truly values you. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm going to pray for the family and for Kathleen Clements. I'm going to read a comment that was left in um, in the comment section, so I'm not reading anyone's personal email. I would never do that. I would never read someone's personal email. Um, but this is a public comment. Anyone could read it. It wasn't in it wasn't in the reading last night's reading, which was the 16th. So it's an April 17th reading. I mean, excuse me. It's an April 15th reading. The comment. Anyway, it says. My cousin is on life support and she was a subscriber of yours. Her name is Kathleen and she just had left on a trip with a friend out of town this last Friday morning. We woke up to find out she had been found unresponsive and everyone was told she isn't going to make it. She was young, st still and funny and smart. We didn't seem to care much for each other when we first met. She was actually my wife's cousin, but more like a sister. But she was awesome, a good chronic lover and lover of cats and dogs. She left her YouTube profile on her TV, and your channel seemed to be popular with her. Hope you can do one last reading for Kathleen Clements. She would have loved that. Now this reading is going to be in honor of her. The song that I channeled was Respect by Aretha Franklin. I will put the song with the lyrics in the description box below. Um, and everything is time stamped, so if you don't like the intro, the prayer, um, or what I'm about to say, then you can always skip to the reading, okay? But what I want to say is this is what, this is what, stuck out to me in which it has been lately a lot of people have been emotional a lot of you have commented especially in the chat about being emotional and things like that and I have been too now I've been thinking about how important the people in our life or our lives are okay you guys are important to me my family is important to me and how we are rich and how we are abundant with the people in our lives and I've often noticed how there are times when I had spoke to somebody for the last time and I never knew that was going to be the last time I spoke to them. This young lady, Kathleen, Kathleen Clements, you know, I'm sure nobody realized that was going to be the last time they spoke to her. And she was young. I don't know her age, but the comment said she was young. No matter how old anyone is, Whoever's in your life, your children, your family, your friends, even just that person that you are a regular acquaintance of that you see quite often. If you feel like saying something, say it. Don't hold it for another time because you don't know when you're going to see a person again. You know, uh, my cousin called the night before my grandfather passed away in a house fire. She's like, I just wanted to call and see how he is. I'm like, well, you can talk to him. He's right here. And she's like, no, that's okay. He's sleeping. I'll talk to you. But that would have been her last time speaking to my grandfather because a house fire happened Christmas night, which was the next night. She, is, she was calling Christmas Eve. The true abundance in our life are the people who are in it. Money is just money. Money dies with our physical life, but the people we love, the people we make memories of, they don't die. Now, for the family of Kathleen Clements and for anyone else who wants to hear 
I don't know the state she is in. She was on life support. I don't know if she's still on life support, if she has gone over to our Father in Heaven as I make this reading. But what I do know is that God is real. And what I do know is that we serve one God and that every word we have for God leads to that one God. I had a vision of heaven several years ago. I had God speak to me a few times. And I've seen Jesus once. And I feel privileged to do that because I was very much a sinner when all of these things happened to me. I wasn't as good as I am now, is what I'm trying to say. And when I was lucky enough to visit the kingdom of heaven to have this vision, it was a beautiful place, beautiful place, like a cathedral, okay? It would almost remind, it, it's, like, it's like the biggest, most beautiful building, but you don't see saints and you don't see religious statues. And it's, you don't see, um, there's no priest or minister or there's nobody at the podium, that's when I realized my spirit guide was showing me heaven and that I was here in heaven. And there were people coming in and going out of these beautiful oval doors, huge oval doors that were open. And the walls were made of marble, marble as high up as you could see. You couldn't see where it ended. In other words, you could not see anything that it ended. You couldn't see lights, but everything was perfectly lit. That is also the reason I have marble on my table. It reminds me of heaven. That is the only thing that I remember seeing for walls. The walls were clear, mar they were marble all the way up and I, to where I could not see anymore. I saw all walks of faith there. I saw Muslims there. And the reason I knew that, I saw the Hajid. I think I said it right. I'm sorry if I didn't. I saw people who looked like just regular folks dressed. Like you'd see them casual. I saw all walks of faith there. And it was beautiful. I realized I was I was in the true church. I was in the true place of worship. I was in heaven. And I was really praying and visiting our Father in heaven. Which we can't see, but the presence is there. So for the family of Kathleen Clements, and her name is so familiar, I would be surprised if I didn't do a reading for her because I believe I've done a, a private reading for her in the past. I've done a few people's readings with the name Kathleen, so I, I can't be 100% um, sure. But I want you to know that no matter what religion and the politics of religion teach us here today, that when Kathleen goes home, if she's already home when I say this, she is with our Father in Heaven. She's with our Father in Heaven. Even if she wasn't baptized, she's with our Father in Heaven. The reason I say this, and this might bring a lot of politics and dogma into the comments, which I don't want, because I'm telling you the absolute truth of what I've seen. Both of my parents died. Neither one of them were baptized. And before my mother was passing away, Jesus literally came to me and told me that he was bringing my mother home. He said, your mother is coming home. I had no idea my mother was young. She was 60. And there was no reason to think that she was um, going to pass away. But she did. She did pass away. I believe Jesus came to me three weeks or three months. It's hard because it was a difficult time for me in my life. It's, I lost my mother and I lost my husband four months apart. So I want you to know that if Kathleen passes away, if she's already home, she is with our Father in Heaven. Know that 100% wholeheartedly. Also know 100% wholeheartedly that whatever she came here to do, she absolutely did it. 
And I also want you to know that if she liked my channel, a lot of people like my channel for different reasons. Some people just like to come to my channel for the prayer. That's it. And I want to say that a lot of people have been coming to me and asking me to pray for them. And I have another channel. If there's anybody who's listening to this portion and you want me to pray for you, send an email to I love Jesus podcast at gmail.com. Just like it's spelled, I love Jesus podcast at gmail.com. Over there, I'm going to start my prayer channel and start talking about my journey of the things that I've experienced um, with God, Jesus, my own trials and tribulations in life. So this reading is in honor of Kathleen Clements. I would absolutely do a reading in honor of anybody um, that watches my channel and passes away. I would absolutely do that. So I'm going to say a prayer and then we'll get into the reading. And like I said, the song that I channeled was by Aretha Franklin, is by Aretha Franklin, not was, and it's called Respect. Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings that you've given to all of us here. I want to thank you that whoever is here watching, that we've woke up, that we have another day on earth to be with the ones that we love. I want to thank you for the people you've brought my way, and Kathleen Clements being one of them. I want to keep Kathleen in our prayers here today. I pray that when you take her home, that her transition is smooth. And I pray that you give her family some sort of message that she's okay. And help, help her family during this time. I want to ask that we are protected during this reading. Protected from all negativity, harm, illness, anything we need protection from. I want to ask that you help those who are suffering, whether it's from war or through illness or heartache, whatever we're suffering from, please help those who are suffering. And I want to ask for permission to be able to see what it is I need to see for this reading. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'd like to give 30 seconds of silence for Kathleen Clements, a fellow Aquarian who watched this channel and was part of our team here. Okay, I'm going to get into the reading now. I don't know what's going to come up, but I had a vision when I heard the song by Aretha Franklin. I had the vision that there was a woman, but it could be a woman or a man. This was just my vision. I, We don't have two-headed people, so I'm not going to see a woman or a man, but... Uh, it was actually a woman in my family who has passed on, um, who used to serve everybody, but she never served herself or she served herself last. And that's why I dreamt of a woman. But this, I believe that this is a reading about respecting yourself and the, and the fact of not allowing others to take over your life in a sense that you're doing so much for others that you're not ever doing for yourself. Um, having respect for yourself, to give yourself the time you need, okay? We do serve people when we're here, but our entire life isn't meant to only serve people, okay? We are also meant to do other things, experience other things, learn other things. So I think that this is a reading about respecting yourself. And if there is anybody who is operating from the lower um, 
the lower frequencies of requiring too much from somebody kind of like um you know sometimes when when children grow up sometimes they get used to being taken care of and it's very hard for them to learn the role of taking care of themselves and they still rely on somebody else to you know cook and clean and do all these things that they're able to do for themselves and that takes away from a person's time and sometimes people will have so much love that they will just take care of that person and I'll give you a perfect example I had a friend named Patrick we used to work together and it was his second job because his second job provided and took care of his son's rent and all his son's needs because his son didn't want to work Patrick was a very hard-working man from the island of St. Thomas and you know that's what he did he's still doing that to this day this man is like 60 something years old with two jobs and this is that reading I feel is coming out about respecting yourself to where knowing the boundaries where other people have got to do their part and so this might be some people who are people pleasing some people who ha don't have the boundaries up high enough and literally their whole life is just serving other people going to work coming home serving other people and like this is the person who is like the last person to sit down the last person to eat the last person to go to bed it's like a caregiver that never stops but it doesn't have to be that way so anyway I was guided to use these three tarot decks I'm gonna open here with the Archangel Michael deck um, I honestly feel like I'm forgetting something but I don't know I don't know I'm gonna close out with um, I like closing out with the yeah here they are they're up here they're hiding from me I like closing out with the chakra cards and the and the crystal cards because it seems like some of this th this affects our chakras okay and knowing where our chakra space is can al also help us to determine um, where we're kind of at where we're operating from and how we can help heal that sometimes um, you know it comes from learned behavior you know learned behavior all right those of you who listened to this far thank you so much and like I said this is all time stamps so anybody who doesn't want to wow how appropriate it says recognize the signs from above and we have the 444 you might be seeing 444 I know I certainly am I did a video the other day that was 44 minutes and 40 seconds <laughs> um, we also have the dove of peace the butterflies I've been seeing a lot of butterflies where I'm at I actually got on film I was cutting grass and I two butterflies were mating and um, I got like a 30 second 30 second footage of that but it says angels are sending you messages now but you're too distracted to notice stay alert and open to divine guidance so that's the only thing that came out just like I said about the song respect I'm gonna put the the song with the with the link down below with it with the lyrics but if you're busy always doing something serving somebody and you don't even have a chance to see the signs it's like um, that type of thing I feel you know sometimes I wake up in the morning and it's one of those days and my day has to start off hectic but my normal routine I like to go out I like to give gratitude I like to pray and I like to do it outside but sometimes things will interrupt you know that process sometimes it's just city noise sometimes um, there's somebody who you know needs to talk to me or require my attention or something like that and it throws me off or sometimes I literally have to go somewhere that was unforeseen you know something comes up so pay attention to the signs you might be busy you might be too busy to notice that God is speaking to you the angels are speaking to you your spirit team even passed on loved ones speaking to you
All right. What do I need to see for this reading? In honor of Kathleen. The moon is reversed. This is Pisces energy. It's also an energy of things come to light. Things come to light. Things come to surface. Things aren't hidden anymore. You might have noticed I burned a little bit of sage. I don't like sage because, uh, as you know, it reminds me of something from my past job. And, um, you know, it gives me a headache. But I was told to burn it, so I burnt some. Not by a person. I mean, divinely guided to burn some, so I did. Tell me about the moon reverse. Okay, we have the lovers reverse, Gemini energy. So we have so far Gemini Pisces energy. We have a page of pentacles. We have the chariot reverse, which is cancer. We have the three of pentacles reverse, which is teamwork and collaboration. And we have the lovers reverse. You might find out why somebody hasn't come forward, all right? Or you might be explaining why, but why would you be learning a reading about yourself? You already know about yourself. So the way I'm taking this, you could be dealing with one of these signs, but chariot is fast and it's forward movement. Now, if this is about pay attention to the signs, maybe if there's something that hasn't happened in your life, it might be because someone is not paying attention to the signs. Could be you, it could be this situation, but it's something that comes to light. And it has to do with a choice that was made. And also this choice had to be made or was made. And this was why the hold up, why you haven't heard from somebody. It's like pay attention to the signs. So it's like two examples I just heard. So what if you're aligned or destined to meet a different connection that's on your frequency, right? You're raising your frequency. You're not the same person as before. You're, you know, you're, you're evolving. You're, you're ascending. But there's something in your life that needs to let go of because that something is in a lower frequency range and it's just not meant for you because you're ascending. And this, this, this situation is at this frequency, right? It's not ascending with you. It's right here. So it could have been a lesson that's always here, a fundamental lesson. It doesn't change frequency. Only you are meant to skip that frequency. Only you are meant to jump that timeline. This could be finding out some information, a little bit of information, right? This is, this is a, a student because it can learn. It can be a child, but it can be a conversation. It could be something that's found out. The other thing that I heard is if it's someone coming toward you, if something was on hold, something dropped off, you haven't heard from somebody, you may find out why, why collaboration stopped, why, there goes my phone, never fails. Let me look at the time. It's 1221. All right, it's 1221 on my phone. You might be seeing 1221. You might be seeing um, mirroring numbers, okay? Whatever it is, whatever reason things stop, this chariot in reverse this collaboration or teamwork or working together, whatever, whatever reason this stopped had to do with some sort of decision or choice. But like I said, if it is you or if it is them, if somebody had to learn something and that's why things were on hold. All right. So that means that you might be aligning with something that was on hold because something had to be recognized, something had to be noticed in this process. And because I've been channeling another person, you know, it can always be that. And I do have the Emperor. This is Divine Masculine Yang Energy. And this is a page of air. And this is that, that this is something literally that learning. It's for me, it's only spying when it's in the reverse. This is this is gaining some sort of knowledge. It could be a divine masculine who comes forward and says, you know, I haven't been able to talk or come toward you because uh, there was another another person, another situation in the mix or something because we were at work. There was work because three of pentacles can be work. 
but there's something about that. And if it has to do with you and ascending, there was something, you know, the emperor can be the one in charge, right? The one in charge of all people, God. But there's something that might have needed to be learned in a situation before things could move forward and go toward another situation. So give me another aspect of this, please. So it's like if you're meant to meet another person, but you're still stuck with an old energy, well, that has to end. Or if you're meant to align with another job or different income or different purpose, well, the old purpose has to close out the cycle, right? And follow divine purpose. But either way, the, ba the baseline here is, okay, there's going to be some information. And maybe it's something you learn all on your own, or maybe you have a conversation with literally a Virgo, but this could be something that you learn on your own by thinking and just sitting in silence, paying attention to the signs. And really, you'd have to be alone in silence to pay attention to the signs. That didn't come out. What am I doing here? Eight of Earth. Now we're talking about money. We're talking about focus. Ace of Air. It becomes clear for someone here because I have so many people watching cross watchers you can reverse the roles if you're dealing with an Aquarius but something becomes very clear about what the focus should be and somebody realizes that they were taking the wrong course of action because for me this card says justice it says karma fairness and the law but I when I've done my personal readings and I get justice I've literally done card readings on myself should I cut the grass okay because you know I get heat stroke easy and I've got justice card so justice is also about motion putting things into motion and action it becomes clear now it becomes very clear what the focus should be and that somebody was putting their focus in the wrong direction that becomes very crystal clear to somebody here very crystal clear what the focus should be. Give me a card for the Justice Reverse. That is also Libra Energy and the Eight of Earth, please. Please give me focus and clarity. And in this Justice card, the third eye chakra is highlighted. So whatever wasn't clear, and this talking about clarity, whatever wasn't clear is definitely coming clear. And I have to look under the Ace of Air. I didn't notice. Look at this. This is the dream I had. The dream I had was a female who was just doing so much. Now, like I said, this doesn't have to be a female. It can be a male, too. This can be anybody who is, like, doing everything, and it's just, it's just too much. It's too much now. And it just becomes clear that, hey, I don't have to do all that. And it could be at a, at a work, at a place where you work with others, like teamwork. Three of Earth is supposed to be teamwork. This Three of Earth is reversed. So it's like saying... Let's say you're a group, you're a team of people, and you're all supposed to work together and do this, but like you're doing all the work and no one else is doing anything, or you're, or you're the business owner, and you delegate these jobs, but everyone's sitting around talking, they're on their cell phone, it's like literally you're the one doing all this, but it's like you're a kind person, you don't want to, you know maybe hurt people's feelings and you definitely don't want to take somebody's income from them because that's how they feed their family but it's like you're doing all the work i even feel that energy so give me a card please things i feel are going to change we have the three of wands which can talk about bringing another person in to alleviate some of the work okay delegating hiring another person like i said it can have to do with that and we have the knight of swords reverse so a couple of messages if it comes to a place of work, somebody might be cut out and let go so that a new person can come in because, you know, somebody is doing too much of, of too much work. And that's strong right there. Someone could be cut out so that you come in. Or if you just recently got hired, someone might have gotten cut out because, 
you know, it wasn't it wasn't fair and it wasn't balanced, which also justice talks about that. Um, we have the Nine of Cups reverse on the bottom of the deck and the Sun reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse. Literally, this was what not not what someone desired. It had to get cut out. It becomes clear, even if you're not a boss, even if you're not at work, even if you're in a small community, because Spirit has told me Three of Pentacles can be like a small community where people live together, close together. It could even be that one person who disrupts the community. And then you are the one who is like always trying to keep the peace there. You're the one who's trying to keep things smoothed over. It's going to change. I feel you're going to have your peace. I feel like you're going to be fine. This is a person here, nine of earth. This is, this is a person who has everything they need in the moment, right? Usually predicted as someone who's single and has all this abundance and just needs someone to share it with or wants someone, doesn't need someone, but wants someone to share it with. But this is a person who's like, ah, I got my peace. I can look out at the flowers. I can sit out here and be in nature. So whatever was disrupting the balance, whatever was disrupting the harmony, I feel that whoever's watching this is able to change that on some level because they're able to raise the boundaries or change things because the, the song is respect. I think you're able to teach others boundaries and say, look, I don't mind doing this, but... It would be, um, you'd be respecting me if you were to do this, you know, hold up this end of the bargain and I'll hold up this end of the bargain because it's more balanced. It's more fair this way. You do your part. I'll do my part. Tell me about the root. Why are we here? To probably that ten of wands, I would not be surprised. Well, stress. Five of wands. Night of Fire on the bottom and reverse. So this is a this is a, about getting rid of a Night of Air. <laughs> it is about getting rid of somebody who's been inconsistent. I don't care work, your home life, your family life, living in your home, living in your community. It's about getting rid of somebody who maybe you were too nice at the time, um, didn't want to cut anyone out, but it, uh, you know, and it could be external to you because it's uh, surrounding the Aquarian energy, but it's definitely cutting out the energy of inconsistency. People not pulling their part, not doing their part, uh, especially if someone is way too stressed out, someone is doing way too much. Fire of fire, it's stressful. It's very stressful, is why we're here. That's the first reason it's stressful. And the last reason, the last card, releasing it. So whatever is bringing too much stress to your life um, is being released. Or if it's someone external to you, I have the Hermit here. It did want to come out before. It was on the bottom of the deck, Virgo Energy. Someone is really literally thinking about all of this stress that they have to endure. They have to endure a lot of stress. It's about making a choice. We do have the lovers reverse, and it could be literally just cutting out one person. You know, one bad apple, what they say, one bad apple can ruin the whole bag. And it's about making a choice here. But somebody was maybe confused. This is reverse. We did have clarity coming out of the bottom of the deck. This is also seven of water reverse for me is able to make that choice now. There's clarity and able to make a choice. Somebody couldn't see the right choice, couldn't see what the signs that Spirit was giving them because they had too many things on their plate, too many distractions. If it wasn't too many things, it was too many distractions. Literally could have been one bad apple just distracting the whole bunch. And then somebody here is just, you know, five of water. Disappointed. Disappointed because they didn't focus on the right area of their life they didn't focus on it but for whoever needs this i want you to understand or if you're external to aquarius and watching and, it, and you're involved with an aquarius or will be i want you to understand there was a lot of distractions here it wasn't easy for you to make the right choice it wasn't easy 
it wasn't like there was a moment of clarity, but there will be because that's, it does appear that either it's already happened or it will happen or it's happening now. And then page of water is in the reverse. This is somebody who I feel has filled everyone else's cup but theirs and now their cup is literally empty. Like they had very little time for themselves and now it was like it's empty. Somebody realizes it was necessary to let go. It was necessary to see something go. It was ne or it is necessary to release this energy so that one can give back to their own cup. Somebody's cup is empty here. And it's because they have filled another cup, not their own. Give me a card. I've got a lot for the roots, so I really don't think I need clarity. But yeah, some some of you guys, it's literal. Look at this person. They they have all of this stuff piled up. Somebody has not been able to keep up with things in their own life because they've been distracted by other things. Somebody realizes it's time to cut out something because it's keeping me from what I really want to focus on. Just give me one card for this, okay, too. So there's freedom. All right, I like to see that. You know, because this is a card of freedom. This is a card of I don't have to do all that other stuff. I don't have to serve every little thing that, you know, it's not my job to serve every little thing and do every little thing and not have time for myself. Someone gets freedom. This is a card of freedom. And it's like, if there was a connection that was on hold, it might have been because somebody needed to free themselves from that old connection that was draining. This is what comes to light here. What comes to light is what needs to be freed so that somebody can, um, what needs to be released so that somebody can be free of all these burdens or responsibilities or distractions. It's like once that happens, there's all this clarity. When somebody meditates or prays, they're able to see. They're able to see the signs from above. Oh, that was for here. So let's get into the past. It could be recent or it could be past. I allow the cards to show me what they want to show me here. What's the past? King of Earth, Reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and Queen of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, could be literally somebody's, uh, there's, there's been a um, hold up or a breakup between an earth sign and a fire sign, because it could be either, because it could be a hold up, it could be a breakup, all right, there's thousands of people who watch, so um, just to keep that in mind here, that's physical, um, either way, You know, this talks about stability. It also talks about money and having everything that's needed right here with that King of Earth reverse and not having it. And this Queen of Fire, for me, sometimes can be karmic. So it might have been a karmic lesson that had to be learned because we do have karma here. It could have been a karmic lesson had to be learned before someone's abundance really does kick in. Sometimes, I know you guys have heard it, you know, where you're going, others are not meant to go with you. That's also that. If you're ascending, your frequency is raising, this lower frequency is still here. It cannot go with you. So to be with this frequency, this person, this situation, you either have to lower yourself again or let it go because it can't. Okay? The cord breaks at some point because you're ascending and this isn't. And that choice is clear. I either have to ascend and break ties with this, or I have to lower myself and go back down to it. I know you're not going to lower yourself, but that would be literally the choice. Let's get some clarity. Tell me about the King of Earth reverse and the Queen of Fire reverse. Right here. Two of Cups. 
what you don't see. This could be something that has happened so that you align with this other energy. Whoever's watching this might, might be something you don't see. All of these changes have had to have, hap have happened. And I, and I channeled that maybe yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. My short-term memory is eh, not too good. But if you remember that reading, there is something that becomes clear. And that's what this is also. What you don't see, but what maybe somebody is realizing why everything has happened and it was to align them with another person. It could have been yesterday's about the kindred soul. I don't know, but it becomes very clear. So you don't see a tower because this came face down and this came up. You're aligning with another person. Okay. Two of cups. It's love. It's a close connection. It's a connection you're going to love. It's a connection they're going to love. What you don't see is there's a tower. Mars energy, Aries, Scorpio, two of pentacles, and then the hangman, Pisces energy. So somebody goes through a tower, a breakup it looks like, of another energy because the frequency is rising. Then this time, we have the hermit here and we have the hangman. Big time, dark night of the soul, if anyone's dealing with a twin flame. Also, a time of reflection anyways where somebody's like oh i understand now why i went through that i understand exactly now why i went through that it was to align me with this give me a card for the what crowns this what crowns this please two of air decision time somebody's making a decision here two paths to choose One path, somebody knows exactly where it leads to, and it's a dark, dark, darkness, and, and there's a dead tree over here. Oh, it's winter time, but this path is a darker path. This other path is illuminated. Don't know where it goes, but it's a path of faith. It's like the Fool card, Aquarius. You may have a choice. One, one, one of those choices are going to be a road you've been down a million times. It might be a different face, it might be different characters, but it's the same old frequency, same old energy, same old lesson. You know this one, like the back of your hand, you could walk it blindfolded. This one here, you don't know where it leads to, but it's divinely guided, and it's a new path, it's a new journey, it's a new experience, and it's blessed. If it's someone external to Aquarius, same choice. Because, look, you guys are lining up, so I would imagine you both had the same choice. Maybe not exactly the same day, but close enough to where your frequencies can align. Give me a card for that, two of air, please. Yep, there we go. Queen of Wands is reversed. So, and we... <laughs> Queen of Cups reverse and King of Cups upright. This is a loving couple. I feel this is somebody whose mistake was made back here. Someone picked the icy cold path. This is where everything seemed like the right choice on the outside, right? Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Three of Cups reverse. It could be you know someone had a path literally and they chose the wrong path now somebody wants to correct that which means they've learned their lesson they want to walk all the way back down here and go back down the right way again whoever that's meant for so this is a very important lesson like i said it's on this frequency down here it's a fundamental life lesson it's really learning a lesson of intuition and love because this person didn't pick from their heart because their heart was with you king of cups here that would be the emperor that wanted to come out, divine masculine. Um, water energy, there could be people dealing with, you know, uh, Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio, but it's a loving couple. So this is what I want to make note of. The energy says, this is love. The one who would be represented by the divine feminine energy here and the four of wands reverse here. Um, 
is a person that maybe didn't get to go down this path with them. They might not have been picked or maybe they didn't accept it when they were picked because I don't know. All I know is somebody had to learn a karmic lesson and it was a lesson in love. Somebody looked at the outside of a situation. Okay, this is the right person for me because they're my same nationality. We make close to the same money or we're in the same field of work or they're close to my age bracket or something. Like on the outside, this person looked like the it person. This situation looked like the it situation. But it wasn't tied to the heart, so it really wasn't. So somebody is correcting that or wanting to correct that. Tell me about the future or the near future. Now the Empress. Now you saw the Emperor wanted to come out before. Now the near future is the Empress and Knight of Fire. Here they come. Somebody comes for their Divine Feminine very quick. Or, you know, for that, those who are watching me are waiting for a child to return. This child is returning and realizing they had to learn a tough lesson. Because they could have been controlled in a situation, been with a karmic that didn't want your kid to be with you or whatever. Um, the empress is a mother, but it's yin. So it could also be returning to a father who is more in the yin energy or nurturing. That's if anyone dealing with a child. But more often than not, this is about love. Somebody returning fast could be an age difference, okay? We have Venus here. I have Sagittarius, I have Taurus, and I have Libra. But the energy says, and we have Virgo right here, and we have Awakening. But this is really the Hangman Reverse, which is about a realization. And then that realization is they want success with you. This has taken a while for someone to come to that um, realization, though. Give me a card for the night of okay empress it landed on the empress nine of wands reverse okay if you are the yen energy this is a situation where you already gave up on it you gave up on it you didn't think it was ever going to happen <laughs> yeah you don't even know how they feel about you this person never told you how they felt about you either they just sort of held it in what's the self position self-position somebody wants to somebody is either abandoning their ego abandoning the devil here capricorn literally could be abandoning Cap a capricorn but someone is literally letting go of their fears because in this case when it's night of air next to the devil reverse someone's releasing their fears and going toward what they want period whatever fear that was whatever those fears are they're releasing it, or you're releasing it, and going toward what you want. Someone here is going toward what they want. And we have a brand new beginning, a brand new opportunity, a brand new focus, a brand new shift, a brand new paradigm, a brand new timeline, a brand new frequency, brand new journey. All you have to do, this is the mustard seed. You just water it, you talk to it, you nurture it, you take care of it, and it grows, and it grows, it becomes more and more and more pentacles, it becomes something, a legacy, it becomes big and more of it, it just becomes more and more and more. What's the environment? future i love that this is happening here in the future in king of air so expect something to change for the better in the near future here and especially if things were just not very good if things were just like if you were on the if you felt like uh the good side of karma forgot you or if you forgot that um if you felt forgotten let's just say that if you felt forgotten there's change coming here there's change coming. Literally going from the cold to the warm. Ship is coming in. Your ships are coming in here.
We have Aquarius in the upright. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. If there was anything that failed, a relationship um, with a child, a relationship or a love that didn't take off the ground or a love that, that didn't get to happen here that you wished for, it's saying that it was highly, it was here, <laughs> like it was written in the stars. Even this separation was written, okay? It was written here. But this would have been something you would have hoped for, wished for, really wanted, all right? Um, and it's a Ten of Pentacles reverse. It was the full reverse. This is, you know, this is now somebody looking at this, like I lost my family or I lost this opportunity, this beginning, um, with Aquarius or or cross watcher, you know, I've lost this Somebody's really looking at this here But I feel that it was not lost. It was meant to happen Even the bad stuff that was written in was meant to happen here and it makes somebody really think here Oh my god and kind of like I said with the whole story of Kathleen, you know What happens when we we don't know when we're going to speak to somebody again is this is like that, like thinking, what if I never speak to them again? I'll never get to tell them how I felt. And it's the Empress Reverse. What if I never speak to my, my, my mom or my dad or my yen, whoever's in the yen energy? That would represent a father in the yen energy. But this is about what if I never get to speak to them again? What if I never get to speak to them? And they never know that they were, you know, they never know how I felt. This is the environment with someone's thinking here. And it's absolutely true. We never know when we will, if we will ever get to speak to someone again. We never ever know this. And age has no bearing on this. Hopes and the fears that they can talk with you, collaborate with you, work with you. We have seven of air. This is... A nice version of it trying not to wake up the kids okay trying to tiptoe not wake up the kids and this is the four of earth reverse so either way we can look at seven of air is a strategy to not disturb the peace not to bring attention to yourself and the hope and the fear is someone can talk with you or you can talk with somebody without someone else gaining um, notice without someone noticing or without somebody um, being alerted okay that you guys are talking but there's something about a release so somebody may somebody may want to have a conversation about hey I've let go of something or hey have you let go of something or I want to talk with you or can you even get away right can you even get away because there's 4-4 four, four again and there's 4-4 four, four. look at this 44 4 4, four, four. If you're seeing fours a lot, this might be your message anyway. It could be anyone's message. But this is like someone saying, she's out of the house. Like, hey, can we talk when no one else is around? Or um, something like that. Like somebody really just wants to collaborate with you. And even though that this is a three of earth, there's only two people, two entities there. And now we have the King of Pentacles in the upright Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Five of Swords. Someone is really trying to put some sort of strategy together where they can talk to the other person while nobody else is around. Yes. What's the outcome? Keep in mind you have free will. They have free will. Things can change. Energy can change. But as of today, what does the outcome look like for this reading? All right. So we still have awareness here. We have the hangman reverse. Okay. Eight of fire reverse and transformation. Somebody may be telling you about something that happened or you may be telling them. Um, or somebody may be expecting to be rejected. Okay. Um, hourglass might be significant here because I was in uh, the store the other day and I actually saw an hourglass I almost picked it up and bought it I said oh it's an hourglass it helps me keep my readings within an hour but um, there's something here a tower and eight of earth so and bad news so 
there's some sort of bad news that comes out and gets revealed. But I don't feel it's bad for you because I didn't get... Remember, I didn't get the tower for you guys. I got it external. But I'm not saying that the tower isn't. All right? But there's something here that comes out all right? about some sort, of, some sort of news. Ten of water reverse and ten of fire upright. And we have a queen of earth. So we have uh, an earth sign may come forward and, and have some sort of bad news. I don't know. We have also Aries and Scorpio. Um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But we have a ten of water reverse. So there's there's something here. Um, and then it's just too much work on somebody. Somebody just can't handle all of this stuff. Somebody may reach out in their time of need. But somebody may also uh, be extremely burdened by the fact that they have these feelings, okay? And this is like reaching out in that moment of, like, you ever have anyone who's just really having like a breakdown, uh, like, a, like a crisis, and they, they just need a friend to talk to, and they're like, look, I know we haven't talked in a while, but I really need help. I really need someone to talk to like this is all going on and I am so stressed and I'm so burdened and I don't know who to talk to I've had all this loss or this just happened but like I said it could be somebody who has realized because I had the tower come out twice that they had to release a lower frequency energy in order to go toward a higher frequency which that could involve you and another person the strong earth here this could even be somebody saying, look, I want you to be my person. I've been carrying around this burden and I haven't told you how I felt. And it could be like the last moment when someone is literally able to say it. Like time is running out because the hourglass is running out. Time is running out for this person to speak or this person to connect with you on some level. Strong, strong earth right here in the end and fire. Strong earth and strong fire. And there is air. But there's, I, I got the star and the king of swords in the upright. So I feel that it's external to you coming towards you, but it could be either way. It's going to be the yang going toward the yen. Anyway, let's get some advice. Thank you if you've stayed this long for the reading. Thank you if you showed up for the chat. If Whatever you've showed up here for, I thank you and I appreciate you so much. Thank you for giving a moment of silence to Kathleen Clements. Thank you so much. She was a fellow Aquarian. Advice, please. We have two cards that came out. I have to look them up. But we have Ruby and we have Petrified Wood. And I know Petrified Wood came out. So let me look these up. And there's two people here together. So I, I see symbolically going from one to two. I will be right back with the meanings. Okay, Petrified Wood was first and then Ruby. And it's the color brown. Keyword is melt. And it's the sacral chakra, which is divine feminine uh, energy chakra. We have um, speaking about petrified wood as a stone is not accurate it's technically a fossil there's a number of root stones and this is one of the most powerful petrified wood helps us perform the most challenging actions by finding the right energy one interesting quality is that when it's paired with azurite it assists in regression to past lives so there could be something that's coming back around from a past life something to be uh, completed like say you had a past life with somebody and you know your lives ended you never got to be together and you said you know what let's come back in another life and let's do this and then this could literally be that life but then somebody got stuck going down the wrong path I mean that's just an example anyway we have ruby which is the color red and it's for passion you definitely have the opportunity to align with this person whoever they are okay you have the opportunity it says ruby is used in crystal therapy as an activator of basic energy it's um the root chakra so we have root and sacral chakra here it activates the libido especially in the male but also female like all red stones it affects one's fundamental nature when which refers to the basic emotions related to food hunger reproduction and survival 
It stimulates the first chakra, increasing physical, emotional, mental energy. Remember, this person hasn't said what they wanted to say. This person has not said what they want to say. And there could be something to the whole theme of this reading of speaking somebody speaking the truth before it's too late not knowing when we will see another person again or if we'll ever see them again that came out and respect somebody finds respect for themselves and their boundaries and stops taking on all these other responsibilities in order to do something in their life that's important and it could literally be aligning with this other person it's important i'm not going to allow all these other things to get between me and another person something like that anyway guys thank you for showing up i love you and namaste my friends